Now we've marked the cushion for placement of two buttons. Now as you can see in the fabric, there's a distinct pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually stamp out our button with that pattern in place. Now once we align it with our cushion, you can see how nicely it blends in. So let's take that button, loop it through our string, our button string, and then just take those two ends and feed those through the eye of the needle there. Now caution has to be taken when you're using a needle this size because as you could imagine you could certainly skewer your finger on the other side. Um, I won't admit that I've done that but I probably have a couple of times. So there we go, we pull that needle through, we have the two ends of the string and we're ready to go with our slip knot. So we take one string and we use that as our lead string. And on our lead string we loop it through the eye of the button and also on that lead string we tie a knot about three inches from the end. Now the other string we hold very taut in our hand and we never let this go. So with our lead string we loop it around the other string creating a small loop and through that little loop we pass our lead string. We pass it through until the knot is through the loop and then we tighten that little loop we've made so it forms a knot. Now by pulling that lead string you can see it'll go as far as that knot and the knot will prevent it from sliding all the way through. Now with our other string that we've been holding taut we now pull that and this will depress the button into place. Now once we're satisfied that the button is as deep as we wish it, it should stay in place without sliding back. And then to anchor the button in place, we take the two ends of the string that are remaining and we tie those into a simple knot. Actually, two or three knots should do it and that should nicely hold that button in place without slipping out. Now it's just a simple matter of taking the two ends of the string, snipping them off, and admiring our handiwork. <laughs>